Hey everyone, my name is Monier Rashid, and I got another new episode of Frank Gary Let's Go Luna Season 2, and that's cover Shuku Canon. Now, enjoy the show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks! Hi, it's Leo with a folktale from Japan called The Stonecutter. Once there was a stonecutter who was tired of cutting stone in the hot sun. I wish I could be something else for a change. Just then, Yo. the mountain spoke. All right, Stonecutter, what do you want to be? The surprised Stonecutter thought and said, well, it might be nice to be a prince, so someone would hold up an umbrella to shield me from the sun. Yo. Poof, he was a prince. But the sun burned through the umbrella almost instantly. Wow, the sun is so powerful. I wish I could be the sun. Poof, he was the sun. But of course, being the sun was a whole lot hotter. Ouch, I have never known a stone to complain about the heat. I wish I could be a stone. Poof, he was a stone. Wait, wait, wait! I want to be a stone cutter again! Poof! For the last time, because finally, the stone cutter smiled, and so did the mountain. No. The end. Hello, I'm Bill Scafidi. In February, I asked you to watch Channel 3 News at 11 every night for a week, then call our Talk Back 3 line. Well, the response was tremendous. And I promised you I'd let you know what people just like you are saying. And we took some of your suggestions, just like this one on our music. That heavy drum roll is just unbelievable. We heard you loud and clear about that drum roll, and tonight when you watch our news, you'll hear the difference. I feel slighted because you never have can't written on your weather map. We agreed with our Canton viewers and made those changes. Not only did we add Canton to our weather map, we added it to our Doppler 3 radar as well. I really like the scores being shown at the bottom of the screen. I don't like your scoreboard on sports. As you can tell, we have a split decision on the scoreboard. So keep the calls coming and we'll keep score to see which you like better. The Talk Back 3 number is 344-3330. Keep watching and let us hear from you. Because at Channel 3, we're building our station around you. Prime seat during Indians opening weekend. We'll report from exhibition games against the Reds and Pirates, plus Monday's home opener. Del Donahue talks with the man they'll dedicate a statue to, Bob Feller. Learn the easiest routes to the ballpark and watch there where to park. We'll demonstrate how great design gives you a better view of the action and how $3 gives you a peek at the park. Also, see Doppler 3 weather live on location, plus much more. Because at Channel 3, we're building our station around you. Have you ever met a man who gave you the hots more than me? At Cheers, the sexual play talk never steps out of bounds. But we can say that about one Cleveland establishment. Tonight at 11, Target 3 reporter Paul Olowski investigates a hot spot where waitresses say they've had enough. He said, lay down, I can make you feel really good. They claim their boss's annex are no laughing matter. And if you go back to get a side of extra meatballs, oh, I got your meatballs for you. Paul Orlowski pays a visit to the Seduction Cafe after Cheers' last call tonight at 11 is sponsored by Darren Camp's Country Market, your sure-find store in Willow Street. Coverage you can count on continues with a 24-hour update from News 8. Good evening, I'm Dennis Waterbaugh. Congressman Joe Pitts of Lancaster County says there is cause for alarm when it comes to education in the U.S. Pitts made those comments in the Republican response to the president's radio address today. The president agrees education is a problem. Cloudy with showers and fog overnight with lows near 50. More news at 11 on News 8. To those who were killed by tornadoes on Monday. Good evening, I'm Dennis Butterball. Also tonight, 
the eyes of the world are on a dwindling resource right here in the Susquehanna Valley. And these Americans are angry about continuing sanctions against Iraq. Plus, take a look inside a newly discovered Egyptian tomb. It's all coming up tonight on News 8 at 11. With news coverage you can count on, you're watching WGAL. This is News 8 at 11. A weekend on the brink of war ends with a possible settlement. Good evening, I'm Dennis Butterbaugh. Thank you for joining us tonight. The United Nations is now sending weapons inspectors back to Iraq. Even though Saddam... Six with increase in clouds and 54 degrees for the afternoon. Okay. Not as good as the weekend weather, but I'll take it. Oh, okay. okay. I'm glad we could keep you satisfied. Good compromise. Thank you, Patty. Coming up next is... The Steelers did today. And in a battle of the basement dwellers, we'll show you which bad team turned out to be just a little Bucks are up by one late in the fourth, but Fred Taylor, the rookie, takes it 70 yards for the game-winning score, and the Jags pull it out by a final of 29 to 24. Elsewhere in the NFL, Miami takes care of Carolina. Gets by New England. Oakland over Seattle by a field goal. Dallas pulls off Arizona. Green Bay by 30 over the Giants. And tonight, Detroit beat Chicago. The father of fans get a free Peoria Chiefs painter cap. Game time 7:05. So come on out to the ball game. The news you need, the stories you'll see nowhere else. Storms will typically show signs of farmer virus between five and seven days after being exposed to it. It will likely cause more of the kind of confusion it was designed to clear up. Alice Hout, weeknights at 6 and 10, on your news source in the heart of Illinois, WHOI. Tired of feeling tired. We'll explain next in HealthCast. Tips to help you work around your allergies. Plus, a look back at a last minute solution to the Iran hostage crisis and time and again 2000. That's on the next News Center 3 early edition at 6 a.m. against Burke Burnett. The Bulldogs also winners of two.